I'm Chanel Greco from Sir Paris, and in this video, I'll show you how to use the Google Calendar out of office entry and the different options you have and what you should be aware of. Okay, so I'm in Jane Examples Calendar, and uh, let's create a new out of office entry. I'm simply going to click in the calendar and choose out of office. Okay, so um, what are some things that are new? Um, or no, let's start actually with when should you use which feature? So let's say you wanted to um, go two weeks on vacation. So how would you do that um, in an out of office entry? So if you click here on the time, um, I probably would opt for all day because it's a full two weeks. So let's say the 23rd of March until uh, I don't know, let's just say the 2nd of April, something like that. Let's save it, save and decline. That was the question if um, it automatically should decline new incoming requests or calendar invites, and I said yes. So there you go. If we have a look at this, these are um, this would be the way I would add an out of office entry when I'm away for a longer period of time, let's say I'm on vacation. But what about if I have a repeating a repeating thing or task or chore? Um, let's say every day at three in the afternoon, I have to pick up, I don't know, the kids from school. Um, how would we do that? So I'm gonna click here. I can either click on the date or on the time, doesn't matter, because it's just gonna make this view expand, the detailed view, so I could say, does repeat, let's say daily at three, I don't know, half an hour. And in that time, I'm just simply not available. Okay, so that's how you could have, why don't we go ahead and do that? Uh, so automatically decline new meetings during this time. Yes, perfectly fine, go ahead and do so. So now we have that on every day. Let me just go ahead and create a new out of office entry. Uh, here we have the option of automatic, automatically declining meetings. Um, and interestingly enough, we've been added the option of saying, I want to only um, decline new meeting invitations or new and existing meetings. So it used to be new and existing meetings. And now we can say no, only new meetings. So depending on your situation, you could use one or the other, or you might even choose to not use any of those and not decline anything automatically, but instead decide on a per situation or per event basis. If we have automatically declined um, active, in that case, we could have a decline message. So the default message is, declined because I am out of office, um, you could go ahead and change that. Uh, decline because I feel like it or whatever you want to add to this message. Then here, uh, the default is that the out of office is public. The default visibility that chooses uh, whatever default setting for the visibility that you have set on your calendar in your settings. And private, if you do not want anyone to see that you're out of office, but just see that you are busy. But as I said, the default is public here, okay? So we click on save and save and decline, and there you go. What do you think? Is it a good thing that we can now have recurring out of office entries in Google Calendar? And would you mind subscribing to this YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below? Because every week I publish new video tutorials about Google Workspace and I would not want you to miss out on any of that information.